Hello everyone and welcome back to Acorn Life! I don't know, I actually have no idea what Acorn Life we're on. Give me one second. Okay, we are on Acorn Life episode 21. The last one I done was 20. If you know how numbers work, that's usually how they go. And it was about... The future, the new car and animated series and all that lot. And I actually haven't done much with the animated series at the moment because I've been busy working. You can see I've just come home, I'm in my work clothes. The sunset is kind of behind me, you won't be able to see it, but yeah, anyways, I don't know where to look. Should I look at the webcam or should I look at this? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know, whatever works. So basically, updates. I've been really busy with work, like I said, i just come home from work, my awesome tie and suit, not suit, shirt, yes. Ah, uh, busy day, I get home quite late because I have an hour of driving to do every day to get there and then an hour back so it's not the most fun in the world but you know, it's a job, it pays for stuff and I have an announcement coming in maybe another month or so just over a month I think I'll do another announcement with another important update in, in, uh, into my life so yeah, look forward to that until then I'm not going to spoil any surprises or anything just because it's a rather huge <laughs> dust it's a rather huge deal for me in my personal life but anyways this isn't really about that this is this acorn life more specifically is about the pc update because my pc died um the story goes i was playing smite and it died on me and i was quite annoyed i thought it was power cut or something so i was just like meh whatever i didn't realize that you know power cuts affect the whole house and it was just my computer that turned off until like five minutes afterwards i was like oh that's a bit weird so my PC died, it worked a couple of minutes later, I turned it back on, everything was fine and dandy for another day. Then I it died whilst I was watching Netflix, I was kind of like, huh, that's a bit odd. Um, it was actually the power supply, the power supply just went and died completely. I'd done the paperclip test and I tried my Mac or iHack power supply on my PC, everything worked fine. So I sent my Corsair CX750, no CXM, sorry, 750 watt off to be warranted and they sent me a replacement and it took it's like two weeks it takes forever i had to post it to the netherlands and it cost like 30 pounds no it cost like 15. i tell a lie it was like 30 pounds of royal mail um so i sent that off to get warranted but it took like two weeks and in this two weeks i did not have a pc right so i was just looking at it in pieces in my room just like i need to do something with this so i done a lovely update and bought some new parts and i will just get them right now so first off the power supply I previously had a CX 750M uh, or 750W whatever you want it's a semi modular power supply for 750 watts very relatively good kind of entry level power supply I decided to upgrade this to something that is SLI kind of efficient I guess like I wanted it to be more efficient on power supply I wanted it to be quieter I wanted more power so I could SLI in the future with all my safety and overclocks and everything so I decided to go for the Corsair RM 1000 watt this is a fully modular power supply slightly longer than all the other models but it is 80 plus gold rated and it's silent as well so oops, sorry. there we go so this power supply what it does is if it's not under like 50% or more load if it's under that it'll turn off the fan completely doesn't need it there's not enough heat for it to you know generate it and there's not enough heat for it to need the fan going so it kind of turns itself off and it's silent and I love it it's it's awesome it costs a bit more um, and I still haven't sold my old power supply and that's still sitting there the warranty one that's come back kind of like is just sitting there waiting to be sold so if anyone wants a power supply I'm your man I've got one I just need to sell it buy it off me please <laughs> But I could not stop there because I wanted to do more with it because I, I wanted to get it going and yes the power supply was a great start because I got everything working again but then I just kind of looked at my PC and thought you know what this looks a bit naff I don't like it the case is a bit funny it's just a not good not a good looking case it's a Sharkoon or something like that you've seen it before it's just not fun so I swapped it out for a Fractal Design Define R4 the same as which my iHack is made from um, but this time I went for a windowed version instead of the you know the full kind of padded soundproofed um, flat panel version uh, and it, uh, it, it cost me a fan slot on the side which is fine by me if I want that fan slot I can always just swap them around you know why not I don't care either or I've got each, one of each uh, so that's currently in use like it's all built in there so I'm not gonna 
kind of whatever I'll show you there we go that is fractal design define R4 and the window is actually on the other side so I'll move this around later on but you cannot hear it it's absolutely ridiculous everything in there is just so silent and whisper quiet and it's fantastic so I love that that case that case is brilliant it opens it's got all these fans oh, I just love the design define R4 probably one of the best cases I've ever seen yeah other than that there are more upgrades I'm gonna go to the RAM the RAM I decided to upgrade to was what was in my iHack so if you have been following me for long enough you'll probably realize that I had four gigabytes sticks in my PC so I had two of those bring me up to eight gigabytes and I had one eight gigabyte stick in my iHack I did not like that that configuration was a bit weird so I moved my two gigabyte two four gigabyte sticks into my iHack moved the one eight gigabyte stick into my uh, gaming PC and got some more uh, 8 gigabyte RAM stick so now I have 16 gigabytes in my PC and everything should be fine and dandy this is the uh, Corsair Vengeance 1600 megahertz RAM it's not low profile but it does the job it's kind of it seems entry level so if you want some 16 megahertz RAM not too bothered about profiles it's a good place to start it's cheap as any you know whatever the next bit on the updated stuff I felt like I needed a new cooler the Hyper 212 Evo was a bit ugly it was a bit noisy at times I didn't like it very much um, actually I loved it it was very efficient very good for what it did very good price to performance so if you want pure price to performance go for a Hyper 212 Evo they're big they're clunky they look ugly but if you're not gonna look at it then you're not gonna look at it and it'll do the job just fine I wanted something more fancy so I went for the uh, Corsair H100 I water cooling or closed water loop cooling system thing I don't know what to say uh, or what to call it it's just a water cooler that goes onto your CPU and then you've got the large radiator uh, lit, which basically you attach your fans to and it's all fine and deadly problem with this is the fans were extremely loud as I, I tried them with the default fans and I was just like oh my god this is so noisy it's like being ran over by seven lawnmowers and then having a Formula One race car drag you around for six miles and then just kind of leaving you to die in the middle of the road. That's what it sounds like, complete with screaming. It's a horrendously sounding fan that it comes with. Like, just if you get this, I recommend buying more fans. And the ones I bought were another Corsair product that way the sp120s these are pwm fans and they're supposedly quiet don't be fooled the ones that are in there are actually the the h100i fans that come with um the fans that are supposed to be in this box are in the computer so yes these are very good fans they are four pin fans i made the mistake of buying the three pin ones by accident obviously because it was a mistake um, and I plugged them in and they were silent and they were good and efficient but I couldn't control them the way I wanted to through my motherboard because obviously uh, three pin fans are voltage controlled and four pin fans are pulse width modulation um, so which means they are controlled via you know modulating the voltage you can control it yourself basically instead of having a physical switch which I do have um, so I I bought the new ones with the, the PWM fans and then I decided I want to keep my three pin Corsair fans that I kind of just bought my by mistake because I want to have more fans in my case to get good airflow so I kept them so I have the PWM fans on the H100i radiator and I also have the other fans just kind of in there as case fans to get move air through uh, where it's needed because they are pressure fans not airflow fans okay another buy that wasn't essential but I felt like I wanted to do it because why the hell not uh, I moved my optical drive to my iHack because it kind of needed one I think I need it more in there than I do in my game PC because it's more for audio obviously and if I want to burn DVDs or CDs then I want to do that on the iHack so I've got that but then I didn't want to have this thing without an optical drive so I went for the the Asus kind of blu-ray combo drive which is relatively decent drive um, it plays blu-rays it writes CDs DVDs burns them you know we, bleh, does everything apart from burn blu-rays I think can it burn blu-rays yes it can burn blu-rays so this is a very cost efficient efficient um, and energy efficient apparently it says save up to 50% energy consumption so if you want a good blu-ray blu player I do recommend that one can be loud at times but meh optical drive usually are because they're spinning so what you're gonna do 
Um, problem with Blu-ray players, I knew this before I got a Blu-ray drive for my, my PC. They do require third-party software in order to play them. There is a workaround with VLC, but I haven't got that to work with the only Blu-ray disc I have. So yeah, awkward. I'm probably just going to buy a, a third-party software or update Windows Media Player or something in order to play it because it's just hassle-free to do that. And you don't really want to be downloading libraries all the time and updating stuff. So yeah, how far are we in? 10 minutes-ish. Oh, that's good. Pretty good. Um, so we come to the final piece of the puzzle which arrived today. Well, you're thinking, what more can he update? He also he already has a beast PC. Um, the link for my PC actually is in the description of this video if I remember to put it in there. But also the PC part picker is part of my YouTube channel kind of header thing if you want to go over there and have a look at where I or uh, the price of all the parts and what they are and everything. But the final piece of the puzzle which uh, arrived today and I still haven't unboxed is the graphics card. I went for an MSI GTX 980 4G. Ugh, I've been waiting for this for ages. So I, I do I do not like my graphics card. It's a nice graphics card. It does the job. It's a G a Pally, 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 however you want to say it. GTX 670. The 670 is a great card. Very efficient. Very powerful. Can run most games on Ultra. But it can be annoying and loud, and it does. I, does tend to you know get hot because of the blower style fan that's in there. I hate the fan. Oh, the reference design on the 600 series. I just despise them. I think the the Titan kind of design that they've adopted with the uh, 700, I think, and 900 series reference cards, fantastic, look great, but I don't think they're very efficient on the cooling, which is a shame because they look fantastic with all that magnesium alloy and things. So I went for the uh, a non-reference design and it took you know, it's another two weeks waiting and it's another 500 pounds but whatever I got a job it's good <laughs> so I'm just gonna pull this out of the pack because why the hell not apparently you should get another a mouse with these as well um, MSI said you should be getting a gaming mouse with every one but we'll see if they deliver on that promise out of the box looks like this you can't really see Got an MSI pattern, you can barely see it there. MSI pattern on the front, you know. Cutting cost, I think, not having all this fancy stew. Um, whatever this is. Okay, so this is the manual of sorts. Some drivers and other shizzle. Pronizzle, whatever that is. It's stuff. You don't really want to see it. But there is whatever this thing is. <laughs> I think it's a mouse pad. It is a mouse pad. So I've got a pretty nice mouse pad there. Whoop. So yeah, it comes with this mouse pad. Maybe it should come with a mouse to go on it. Pop that down. It does smell a bit funky though. I do have a pretty nice mouse that I updated a couple of weeks ago. Can you see it? Yeah. I don't know what it is. God damn it. Off you go. Yeah. That's the mouse I have. Got buttons. It's a. Uh, Perix, whatever it is. Okay, the graphics card itself looks like this. It's got a nice red and black colour scheme going on, some cool kind of heat pipes along the outside or the side of it, and of course the standard, you know, this side. There is no back plate, it's a shame, but apparently it doesn't need it and it's long like I mean super long and it's thick as in super thick like look at the size of that if I get my reference one out later um, <laughs> it's like the comparison is nuts but it's gonna go in my PC so I will do that in a couple seconds and yes this is all gonna look pretty funny or weird because I've actually built all this and filmed it previously so yeah I mean I'll do it as a separate video I don't know I'm gonna do this one first then upload the other one um, yeah, we shall see. Whatever. Whatever happens, this is the end of the talking part, so thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with more updates in the future with regards to my channel and what's happening and what's happening in my personal life. Um, I'll just say now, I think Acorn Life's going to continue no matter what happens, so every month or two months or whenever stuff happens in my life, I'll just come back and be like, yo, this is happening, all you 20 people that still watch me. Thanks. So uh, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you again soon and uh, take care everyone.